to it here at the start. They have had their ups and downs in the cheering department uh, during the final. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal. The Bulls defense finds a way to get easy scores. Fourth in the league this year in steals. Jordan, one of the best pickpockets you're going to find, and then one of the best finishers at that end. the shot. And back come the Bulls. Lakers lead at 23-21. Here's Jordan. And the Lakers back to Divots, bringing it up, and he lost it. Jordan off the steal. Armstrong and Jordan in the backcourt. Caught right, Grant tipping up front. Here's Jordan. Lakers by two. So Michael able to answer. Here's Green, stripped by Jordan. Pippen with Perkins back. Michael Jordan, who leads the team in steals and block shots, loves to come from behind the offensive player's head to get a piece. Leads the fast break, looks down the floor, sees his teammate wide open, and as Pippen goes up right there, Perkins hits him in the head. Michael Jordan turns to the official and says, make the call. He got hit in the head. Pippen grabs his head. We want a three-point play from that. It was a wide-open look, and it was the worst miss. Michael Jordan will go to the free-throw line. Well, Jordan knows that if he can put the fourth on Teagle, that's one of the offensive threats out of the game. He goes right at him, takes it off the dribble. In 11 minutes in the first half and hit three for three from the field. Michael Jordan seeking his 16th point. Magic Johnson, 13 points, 11 assists. Jordan, yes, Bowles, who rarely are called for turnovers. When Michael goes baseline, the rest of the Lakers must come to help out because he either can finish by going underneath the rim or he has the great ability to pull it back, reverse dribble, and take it in the middle. Right there you can see he has collapsed the Laker defense where all five gold shirts are surrounding Jordan. 76. And there's that weak side attack as Jordan tied at 80. Scotty Pippen with the lead for Michael Jordan. Green. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Lakers able to come right back. Largest move by Jordan with the left hand. We'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. Marv Albert, Mike Fratello, Bob Rashad, Steve Jones, Michael Jordan. Yes. At 88. 740. Remaining in the fourth. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan can sense that the crowd is in it, that the Lakers are in it. He's going to take it into his own hands. He starts actually in the middle of the lane and finishes up. Jordan with the crossover and the bucket. He goes wherever he wants to on the basketball floor. That's how good he is. 29 for Michael Jordan. Jordan against the double team, the triple team, the rotating defense, the pump fake, the rotations, still finds a way to score. A championship. They lead by six. Devox from three-point land. Michael Jordan gets to it. As we come up on 10 seconds remaining, he's fouled by Green. And the Bulls beginning to celebrate. 11 and 4 tenths seconds remaining. The Chicago Bulls on the verge of taking 3 out of 3 from the Lakers in Los Angeles. Marshall, scholarship bar. Michael Jordan with 30 points. The Bulls lead by seven. Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship.
The Bulls graded by a portion of this form crowd as they try to get back to their locker room. For the Lakers, a different story. The Chicago Bulls domination of this series has to be considered a major surprise. Mike, there was no reason to believe that the Lakers would fall apart so dramatically. I think it was a combination of things. I'm not quite sure that everyone gave the Bulls the credit they deserved throughout the season. I think everyone felt the balance of power was in the West this year, that Portland, in fact, was the best team, and when the Lakers got by them, that the Lakers then were just going to put the Bulls away, but the Bulls team was a deceiving team. They did it with a very intricate offense in the half-court area, the ability to score in transition, and then the great team defense. And Michael Jordan has answered a couple of questions. There have been doubters over the years whether a team led by Jordan could win a championship, and it is so rare for a team that has a scoring champion to go the distance. Anyone who ever questioned whether Michael Jordan was willing to give up and sacrifice for a championship was completely wrong. It was a case that Jordan is such a great winner, such a great competitor, and wanted so badly. In the early stages, he took maybe too much upon himself, but only trying to win because he knew the supporting cast had not developed yet. But once they stepped up their level of play, the Pippen moving to a new level, Cartwright doing the job in the middle, Paxson knocking out the open shots, and then Grant blossoming into the player he did, then Jordan was willing to spread the wealth around. And the last time that Phil Jackson won a championship in the NBA, he was a member of the New York Knicks. And the Knicks clinched on this same court here at the Forum back in the 72-73 season when they were able to defeat the Los Angeles Lakers in five.